Good morning! We have quite the day today, y'all. We are going thrifting all day. We are going with a buddy, my favorite system. We're gonna be picking up Michelle. I'm going on a solo little run first at American Thrift, my favorite, favorite, favorite. I'm just itching, I have to go. And then we're going to Fort Lauderdale. I gotta view some apartments today. I have some things to do and I'm hoping to find a whole lot of loot. It is going to be a whole day affair. It is like not even 9.30 yet and we're gonna be going to like five. So I'm gonna be taking you guys with me, hoping to get a little swim in at the beach today as well. Um, quick outfit of the day before I go. I'm wearing a 1920s bed jacket. We're keeping it comfy. I'm on a little bit of a rush here. Um, white tank, these are from Target. Um, I love them, obviously I wouldn't buy any more, but if you ever see them at the Goodwill, Real good. Chain belt that my sister got me, my favorite flowy pants, and just some sandals. Because again, we're trying to get a swim in. So we're doing fashion meets beach meets comfy. Let's hit it. All day thrifting starts now, baby. I'm at the first stop, the best stop. I like to run with a little momentum. So that's a little pro tip. I like to go to a honey hole first and then check out the scene. These are the finds so far. Cheetah pants. Cute little crochet top. And this one's really fun. It's got that funky pattern that's popular right now, but it's a vintage one. So now I go through the pants. This is the most time consuming part. Hello from the dressing room. I've been shopping. I can only bring five items with me, so I'm gonna show you the first five and then we'll go from there. The first of which, look at this. 90s, amazing. Uh, little brown velour velvet jumpsuit, $3.99. We just have to get her. That's not gonna be for me, that's definitely gonna be a sell item, but I think it is so much fun. Then I got this sick 80s sweater. I think I'm gonna throw that on just to show you guys. I love the silhouette. It's slightly cropped, big sleeves. We got a fun little blouse here, the leopard pants. I'll probably just pop those on real quick. And then I already showed you this guy. That's that fun little funky print blouse. I'm definitely gonna take that. So let me pop this on and show you. Okay, so I'm happy I put these on because I was just gonna get them, but they're like too long for me. They're sitting awkward, but the sweater is amazing. I still think I'm gonna sell it, but it's $3.99 and I think I just have to get it. So let's pop this guy on. I think that's just gonna work. So this is just a fun summer shirt. I hate the shoulder pads. They're like those really ugly, thin, square ones. I'm just gonna ditch those. But I'm definitely gonna pick this up. It'll be fun to style with like some coordinating pants in these squares here or something like that, right? Okay, so the rest of the items. Really pretty, too big for me, but the print is just amazing skirt. This is an express skirt actually, but it reminds me of the Realization Par. I think this is just a really nice piece for summer. It looks like it's gonna fit me. I wanna try that on. This is the ugliest old lady thing I've ever seen, but I think worn up open as a jacket, it might be cool, so we're gonna try that too. And then I feel on the fence about this. Like, it's cute. It's just like kinda blah. I don't know. Let's check it out. So I'm sad the skirt's just too big on me. It's a shame, because I feel like I actually would've really liked it. And the top. I don't know. I think it's like a funny thing that I love, but will I actually wear it? Probably not, but it's so good because even this and the hot pink buttons, I don't know. I wish you guys were here to help me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Answer in the comments below. Okay, so we've narrowed it down. Something that I'm trying to tell myself is like, I'm dressing all day today, baby. No rush. Don't need to go all in at one place. But like I said, I feel like a bit of momentum. I do like when you're finding at least a thing or two to keep you inspired. But anyway, um, I will, I've narrowed down my finds and you guys will see exactly what I get at the end of the haul. But let's go pick up Michelle and go on to the next spot, shall we? Well, hello. You might notice I look a little different. Uh, that is because I didn't really end up finding that much thrifting and uh, I got caught up doing a bunch of other things so I didn't really film too much. So what I thought I was doing set instead is just pick up right where we left off and I'm just going to do a week's 
worth of thrifting. And I think this is gonna be really helpful because you'll see that sometimes you kind of hit, sometimes you miss, and then I will show you all of my finds here at the very end. So today is Monday. Last you saw me was Friday of last week. And then I will be thrifting again. Usually my big thrift day is Wednesday. So I'm gonna take you along there as well. So I think it'll be a really nice way to show that consistency and going often is really the major key. There's no other secret knowledge. It's just going a bunch. So I'm going to be going to a Goodwill that I actually haven't taken you to yet, but one that I go to at least once a week. It's very near to where I live and it is my little honey hole. There's a lot of good vintage there. That is where I found that St. Laurent cardigan. If you guys caught that video, if not, I'll link it down below. You can check it out. Such a cool piece. I still have it. But anyway, let me hit the road here. It's 5.30 p.m. so it's a late one. Um, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing, but I am down to try it either way. So I'll spend about an hour there and I will see you guys in just a little bit. Howdy. Guess who's in the goodwill. And the music actually not blaring here, so maybe we can get away with it. You guys know, say it with me. Where am I going? Boom! boots that I'm wearing today did get here so it is possible here just not today so next up I think I usually would have good luck in lingerie here just a lot of weird shits kind of mixed up in there so let's go there next dead stock 80s I love I think I'm just gonna put it in the car I love this color but I have a rule I don't wear polyester. I just can't. Unless it's like the most amazing 70s shirt, then sometimes I can, but not pants like this. But the color, so good. Okay, so I basically went through the entire store without you guys. It's mostly just tops, everything else, and I went through pants too, but no real luck, but some things I wanted to share, um, and then you'll see everything that I decide on at the end. I found this, and this is confusing to me because it's by a brand, Milk IT. It's made in the UK. It's, it's a vintage garment. Maybe it is something reworked, maybe some vintage fabric, but it looks very modern, very cool. I'm gonna research that line. This is a really cool little 90s milkmaid style top that I found with brushed red velvet. I did also find this, which is just really cute. Kind of gives me like a pin y vibe. It's kind of off the shoulder. Love the tag on this one. Probably also 90s by a brand called Revolver. Maybe some sort of like goth brand. And then this is just so nostalgic. I had to throw it in the cart. This is a Taking Back Sunday t-shirt. If you know, you know. You know, I feel like I had one of the worst ages for growing up and for music, but I will still listen to Taking Back Sunday and get my life. So I'm gonna sort through this cart and next you see me, it will probably be when. All right, everyone, I'm back in the thrift store parking lot for my last installment of the thrifting with me for the week. It's Wednesday, Senior Citizen Day at my favorite thrift store, which as I always say, does nothing for me with discounts, but they load the place so let's go in see what we can find per usual i have no real set agenda always looking real hard for pants but i just want to find the magic let's go find some magic
show how comically ugly this thing is. What is that? Oh my god. Sorry, Isabel. It ain't it. It ain't it, mama. Oh my god, you guys. It's a little bit annoying here today, but I did find some really good stuff. I have a few pieces here that I'm actually going to try on that I'm on the fence about. I found an amazing 90s jacket, and I'm actually going to share that with you for the end portion of this video, so stick around for that. But I do have some things here. Beth Jones made me really want a pair of military pants or like cargo pants, something like that. I have a couple of options here. I also have these shorts that I think would look really cool if I cut the hem off. Um, two dresses. This one I actually want to wear like an over jacket. So I'm so blue chipped right now. I'm on my period. So I feel like I'm going to be annoyed at how everything looks on me. But we are going to do this thing. Oh, this is a bummer. These are just way, 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 way too low waisted for me. Let me get this out of the way so you can actually see. They're just way too low waisted. Like, I just won't wear them. But this is kind of the look we're going for. I like the width of the pant. I like all the pockets. But that low waist, that is low, low. And this is just a perfect example of it just not being it. Just this is... They're too flimsy. They don't even look good on me. I'm just not into these at all, which is a shame. Yet again, I'm trying here, guys. I know this looks absolutely stupid with my bike shorts underneath. Just no need to take them off. I was hoping, I don't even mind the rise of these. They're more mid, but then I would lose too much length because I hate this bottom part here, actually. I just would want to hack that off. And in turn, they would just get way too short, but I do like the little pockets, they are our money exchange. That would have been a cool find, but no, even the crotch is not cute. You guys, I'm so sad about this. This is a dress that I was watching B. Jones style Pickwick vintage video, and one of the girls in the video was wearing like an 80s dress like this, which sometimes can look really dated, and she was wearing it like a duster, and this one looks amazing, but it's shattering. It's just gonna totally disintegrate. It's right here, and it's right here. Do inspection checks when you're at the thrift store because I didn't choose to try this on, which I very well could not have because it's so easy to throw on and off. Um, I would have left with something that has rips in it. So really sad because this is a great piece. It's 100% silk. Just strike it out right now. This one's got a hole in it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but this is a made in France. Gorgeous. It has all the right details. True vintage. I think it's 70s. Got the leopard print that I love. You see the little leopard right there. But yeah, no, it's missing the belt too, which I would have definitely belted it. But with the whole look, it has a rip right here. Oh my God, someone had a fabulous closet and it's just turning into dust. All right, well, no luck with that, but I do have some things that I didn't try on that I'll share with you when I get home. All right, whoo, weeks worth of thrifting has gone by. I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of loot to share with you. And the beauty about this is that some's for me, some's for you. If you did it now, I'm sure you heard me speak about it through the vlog portion of this video. Um, I do have a little vintage shop on Depop under the name Decade Alchemy. You could check out my Instagram as well. So these, this is a mixture of for keeps items, for sale items. I just am over the moon with everything I got. And like I stated in the beginning of saying that I'm going to be taking you with me through this week, consistency is everything with the thrift store. The more you can go, the better. Just make sure that every time you go, you're not just sort of totally acting on impulse and that you are being patient and waiting for the things that really speak with you to show up. So I actually wanted to share a homeware thing with you that you may have seen in my cart, um, but I don't think I spoke too much about it. Um, but I found this really cool lamp. Um, it's got this kind of like leathery, like, I forget what this is called. It almost feels like hide, but I don't believe it is because this isn't an old lamp or anything like that. Um, it does, I see made in China here. So I'm not sure where this is from. I just know that I am in love with it. It appears to have like a terracotta base and then it has like this wooden sort of texture and I'm just really into this green. I'm really into this tan. I think it lends itself a lot of different directions. The shade really stole my heart because it has like a zebra look 
to it. And as I stated in the beginning, I'm also looking for apartments. So little home decor things that I'm finding, I am definitely scooping up. Now let's jump right into the clothes. There's a little bit of sunglasses uh, here at the end as well. I had like weirdly good luck and like I don't even wear sunglasses. But anyway, we have so much clothes to go through. So I'm going to power through. The first of which is this really cool little top. It's got no tags to be found, but it does look very 90s to me. And it's this little lettuce edge, pink and brown, swirly little number, very much on trend with these sort of like funky swirly patterns. If this had matching pants, I would just die, but it's slightly off the shoulders. It's like not sheer, but it's a more thin sort of meshy fabric that's really comfortable to wear. Great little summer piece that I actually really, really like. So I think I'm going to keep her. And then this one I have worn once already. This is a cool little button down that you guys saw me try on. It's just covered in drinks. Again, this is not a very old piece, but I just like it. It's sort of oversized. It'll look really good with a pair of denim, denim shorts in the summer or just like over a bikini, something easy. You can just throw it on. It's silk. It's comfortable to wear. It's got a funny pattern on it. And I just really like the colors in here as well. There's a lot to sort of play with. There's like even little olives, drink umbrellas. I am obsessed with it. It's by this brand Piano, and Piano is actually the brand that made that really, really incredible snuff bottle uh, silk shirt that I thrifted a while back. I don't know if you guys remember that, but. And then I also had to pick up this 80s sweater. I don't know what it is, I'm just so, so attracted to it. I know it's a little bit off season, but in places where it's still a little bit chilly um, in the spring, or if you get like Indian summers or it cools down, this might be something you would love. I am obsessed with pink and gray together. I always have been. Uh, these crazy big dolman sleeves that I love. It's a slightly cropped fit. It's just like so perfectly 80s. It's like well-made, good quality 80s goodness. And I feel like you could style it up so many different ways. It's like kind of a staple situation. And then this dress, this dress I was so on the fence about. Um, it is labeled an extra small, but it's not meant to be like a snug fit. It actually hangs pretty loosely on the body. And I was kind of like, eh, I loved it on the hanger. I mean, like it's black, it's gold, it's animal print. It's all the things that I love. But when I belted it, that's when this thing just stole my heart. This is like my new favorite summer dress. I love things that are easy to dress up. I love that it's a very easy, breezy, comfortable yet flattering silhouette um, that still has a lot going on with the gold and the animal print, everything like that. So I will be wearing this to death in the summer. Um, if you guys have any like sus sustainable shoe brands that you like, I am like in a shoe rut right now. Help a sister out. All right, moving right along. You did also see me pick up this crazy brown velour velvet jumpsuit. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that great on me because where the belt is, it's a little bit more of a low-waisted situation. It actually looks like incredibly 70s in silhouette and the 90s often replicated uh, that. And I also say that because the legs are huge. It's got this crazy, crazy flare leg. So I love this it's off the shoulder. I can see this looking so banging on someone. I just don't think I fill it out in all the right places, but it's so, so amazing. And it was $3.99. If you think there's any way I'm going to leave that behind, you're dead wrong. So that same day, I don't think I recorded this, but that same day, that's when I picked up my friend and we did the thrifting, blah, blah, blah. I did go to a Goodwill and I picked up this top. And when I hold it up, it just looks like a crazy piece of fabric, but you'll see me try it on. It is this backless cowl neck that's made in France. So it's a total 90s like going out top, if you will, um, that really nice slinky material that again has some metallic through it. And I think that I've sold a tank top very similar to this because it had sequins all over the place. I just really love 90s tops. I say all the time, I think on a very small chest especially, so flattering, easy to wear, have a lot going on, like they have a lot of flavor. So then if you want to keep it really casual on the bottom, you could do so. So this is black and white, really easy to style, has sort of like a crazy optical illusion print that I think is really cool. And then that same day, I did find this really, really great. I love a good 70s tag. This one says, Lucky Winner is the brand. And I did also mention in my video that I don't really care for polyester and shirts like this are the exception. Um, this is meant to fit a little bit more tightly. So if you're more of like a small, small medium, this will look a lot better on you even than it does on me just because it looks good, super snug with like some flares. Oh, get out of here. But anyway, it's got that pointed to sin collar that I love. It just could not be any more pointed. It's amazing. And it does feature this sort of really cool like egrets in flight 
there's something almost like Asian inspired about it just because the kind of bird and the sunset um, but it's got these really great shades of blue and gold and green and it's just so pure 70s goodness I cannot get enough of that then the next day, well not the next day, sometime in the following week, I went to Goodwill and it was my little honey hole spot that I told you guys about. And one piece that I picked up is this really, really cute, again, we've got an amazing tag on this one, 90s revolver brand. This is probably like an old goth brand. And it's just this three quarter length, off the shoulder, really flattering black and white stripe shirts. I need more staples like this because then this is really great if you have a sick pair of black flared pants it would look amazing. I did get a little mini skirt that I paired with this as well that I'll be sharing with you but it's just a really good staple item. It's true vintage. It's an amazing shape and just a really flattering cut that's almost like Audrey Hepburn does goth which I really really like. So the mini skirt I was talking about all video long I was trying to pair a, find a pair of cargo pants that I really really liked to no avail but I did find this really cute 90s Y2K cargo mini skirt by 579 and I actually used to shop there when I was in middle school does anyone remember anyway again I wish this was a more loose fit you know I don't really do the snug thing but I really don't have anything like this in my wardrobe so I thought it was a nice little piece to pick up if I don't end up wearing it I'll pass it along to someone else but it does fit me very nicely and when I'm not bloated and feeling awful like I am right now I think I will find the inspiration to wear it but I do like the little functioning pocket details the little drawstring I think it makes it very very casual and easy to wear um, then you did also see me pick up this adorable little 90s shirt we have some really good tags happening here this is by the brand Tosca and it's this gorgeous like very pale blue and burgundy uh, crushed velvet but like in floral details off the shoulder shirt it's just so quintessential 90s it is gorgeous this color combination I am in love with the cut again is very very flattering it's a shame the armholes are quite tight on this with the elastic I'm sure that's something that could be rectified in some way or just removed entirely but regardless it's a really really beautiful again it's sort of a basic item but the color combo and the velvet and the off the shoulder are all nice little details that sort of take it to the next level and I just love that then you know I had to pick this up speaking of like 579 and middle school and all of that taking back Sunday I found this taking back Sunday shirt and it does appear to be one like that they were actually selling on tour this is not affiliated with any one of their records but this is just like an emo band that I grew up listening to so much I'll probably just end up sleeping in this shirt to be honest with you but it was so nostalgic for me that I absolutely had to take it home so that is exactly what I did and then ending that trip off I did find two dresses this one was a shame because I did buy this one for me this is that designer I was telling you all about Catherine LeBlonde and I did look it up and it looks like it is a French designer um, her pieces are pretty expensive as well this is a really beautifully made piece however again it's more of a drop waist style that is just not flattering on my body type um so i will be unfortunately passing this along but it is the most gorgeous summer item it has like paisley print all over it and lace details and it's got a lot of volume i love a lot of yardage on my dresses i just think it makes them a lot of fun um but it is an extra small it fit me really really nicely should the cut have been a little bit more flattering but Still a really good find and I know it was on sale so I didn't lose too much money picking that one up. Perfect instance of I wish the dressing rooms were open there but like American Thrift is the only place that they are. And then I definitely picked this up to sell another I wish this fit me so bad. I would wear the shit out of this and it is this blue maxi dress that is just covered in butterflies. I love it. It's got the little tie string in the back. This is labeled a size 10 so it'll probably fit like a medium, medium large. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's got a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wiggle room here because it's quite wide when I hold it just like this, but then with the strings, you could probably tie it a little bit tighter. The only thing is it doesn't look so flattering if it doesn't fit in the bust. That's why I didn't even bother trying this on for you guys, but the pattern is perfection. I need to like maybe look that up and find more because that pattern just did it for me so much. So let's move along to American Thrift, the final time. This was today and I had again amazing luck. That's where I got that lamp today and that secret surprise coat that I'm about to show you. So let's 
jump right into that. The first piece, oh, I'm gonna literally look this up. I was heartbroken. This is another like, why don't I have boobs situation. Um, this is a dress by Allison Peters. It is an 80s dress. It's cotton, beautiful, sweetheart neckline, which I just adore. It's got a nice elastic back, and it's this V front that I cannot get enough of, especially when the fabric starts to billow out. There's pockets, it's comfortable, it's easy. This is just like the definition of a summer dress to me. So like, it would even be fun to layer with shirts underneath it as it gets warmer. Again, that sweetheart neckline makes for such a beautiful silhouette and it's in pink and white. I am devastated that this doesn't look good on me, but I did model this one for you and I had a lot of fun modeling it on and it will be passed along to one of you. Oh, and I'm gonna jump on eBay right after this and see if I can find my own. And then I did grab, this was really cool, it's a dead stock, so that means it's never been worn, it still has the tag on it here, by again a hilarious tag, it says, it's new, it's you, it's spoiled rotten, which I just love, and it looks like that this was originally for sale at clothes time. So this is a size medium, again I think this looks better, a more snug fit, because it's that 90s cropped velvet, uh, it's a crushed velvet leopard little situation, it's just a little too big on me um, for my personal preference, but this is like, Unif is making this, Forever 21 is making this, H&M is making this, like all the brands, like fashion is so cyclical, and what you should do instead is just look for the real deal. This is new, if you're weird about wearing people's clothes, this has never been worn, it's washed, it's ready to, well not washed, because I don't want to take the tag off, I want to keep it in that dead stock condition, but doesn't smell, it's ready to wear, it's beautiful, and it looks really good for, with that shrunken, snug fit. It's just a little bit too big on me for that. All right, let's finish this off with some really exciting sunglass finds and the coat to end all coats. I almost died. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? This crazy 90s midi length blue iridescent black faux fur trimmed coat. The brand is Aziz. It's a size medium, but I actually really like how it fits me. I'm sure it would look really great a little bit more snug as well for that kind of like pop star look. But you guys, it's crushed velour velvet. It is in beautiful, beautiful condition. And the fabric is just, I tried showing you in the light. It's just like so special, like totally took my breath away. I even love how enormous and fluffy the collar is. Like it just seems like this has not even been worn. I was initially attracted to it for that iridescent fabric and then I was like, it's lined and it's lined nicely. And then I see that it's real vintage and I'm like, oh my God. It's just so, so incredible. Again, again, the brand is Aziz. This was 10 bucks, $10, I mean, worth, every stinking penny is probably my favorite find of the whole entire trip now let's just finish it let's just finish everything off with some sunglasses here i'm just hoping i remember to show you everything because i did also go to the goodwill outlets but i didn't film any of that and the video would just be ridiculously long so some sunglasses i did get three pairs the first of which i don't believe these are old because this style has been really really popular but it also doesn't have the brand on it, so I'm not too sure, but they're just these ultra catch eye red sunglasses. I don't even really know how I feel about these on me. I usually kind of like this shape, but I don't really like when you can see my eyebrows in sunglasses. I'm a little bit weird about stuff like that, but they were so cute and they were like $1.99. I had to snag them. And then I grabbed these because I thought they were made in France and they are totally 80s and they are red wrap around. I kind of weirdly like them. I feel like there's like a definitely a specific look to how you would wear these, but I just thought they were so cool. I think these were $2.99 or $3.99. Good quality in amazing shape and just really, really funky and unique. So I just wanted to pick those up. Why not? It's fun. And then these I saw and I'm always attracted to these because they look really Gucci. And then I open up the arm of this and I see that it's made in France as well. And I was like, nice. I love that. Then I pop them on. I'm like, perfect, not prescription, and then I see when I bring them home that these are vintage Diane von Furstenberg. How freaking cool is that? So the arms are like a little bit wide. I think I just need an eyeglass repair kit to kind of make it like this. However, when you get it on your face, they do sit fine. They sit 
lower. These sunglasses always do because they're just huge, you know, but I actually love this style on me. They're that kind of gradient tint as well. These are probably real 70s glasses because Diane von Furstenberg has been designing since then. Um, but I'm, I can't believe I found these. These were $2.99 as well. So I nearly died. They're so cool. They're like purple and I don't know, I'm gonna hold them up here for you so you can really see the cool details on them. They have like green stripes. There's a couple little scratches on the lenses. I do need to clean them up a little bit. I haven't really cleaned it. I just uh, took some Goo Gone to get the stickers off because they just slapped them right on there. But pro tip, just your daily reminder, those huge bins that look like they're just filled with cheap readers, go through them. That is where I found all of these and I found them all in very quick succession. So I'm really, really happy about this, you guys. I had so much fun taking you with me. That is usually what my week looks like. It's part of my recre my favorite recreational activity to supply my Depop shop as well, find some stuff for keeps. You know, it's just my favorite thing to do and it is actually very, very, very therapeutic for me most times. Like when I went on that, when I went today, and I would tell you in the in the dressing room, I'm a little bit annoyed. It can get like that as well. And um, I'm sorry I'm talking a lot. I just got my period today. I'm a little bit scatterbrained, but I really do hope that you enjoyed everything. If you have any questions on anything, leave me a comment down below. If you want to see how I style things up or see what's for sale, check out my Depop and my Instagram at Decade Alchemy. Um, but that's it, everyone. Let me know what my uh, what your favorite find was. I would love to know. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.